Hi everyone, today I am going to discuss about Irish, uh, which is known as Immune Reconstitution Inflammatory Syndrome. We see this commonly in HIV positive patients. And what is the pathogenesis of it and why this occurs, I am going to explain in this video. So now consider an HIV positive patient. We uh, and his CD4 count is very less that is uh, less than 50 cells per microliter and we initiated the ART treatment in this patient. So what happened is after initiating this therapy for this HIV patient there is a paradoxical worsening of pre-existing infectious processes. So actually this patient will have some uh, pre-existing infectious process and after starting the ART, there is a worsening in that infectious process. Why this happens? Because, why because? After starting ART, the patient's viral load will decrease. And immune cells, that is CD4 T cells, will start rising after 2-3 to three weeks. So, there is an increase in immune response of this patient. So this increase in uh, immune response against uh, the residual antigens, pre-existing residual antigens will be present in these patients, uh, which are related to uh, some examples like uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis, cryptococcus, cytomegalovirus, even some hepatitis B vaccine also uh, this immune response will act against the residual age antigens of these uh, infectious agents so there is a increased immune response and this immune response is similar to type 4 hypersensitivity reaction type 4 hyper it is some, uh, actually it is an autoimmune like reaction so and Again, it's uh, similar to type 4 hypersensitive reaction. And iris is divided into basically two types. One is paradoxical iris and the other one is unmasking iris. If the, uh, after initiating ART, iris, if uh, iris occurs in that patient and that is related to the previous existing diseases or neoplasms, it is called paradoxical iris. The, if iris uh, occurs after, starting initia after initiating ART, and it is related to pre-existing infection or neoplasm, it is called paradoxical. Whereas if it occurs in relation to the previously uh, undiagnosed or unrecognized infections, previously undiagnosed or unrecognized uh, pre-existing diseases, it is called unmasking iris. So these are the basic two types of uh, iris we have. And coming to uh, the next one, coming to the next thing, uh, uh, actually it takes some weeks to months after initiating ART, the, the symptoms may occur, the localized symptoms uh, may occur, uh, result, uh, revealing iris. So. Uh, consider a patient uh, who is diagnosed both uh, tuberculosis or and as well as HIV and if you start both ATAT as well as ART there is an increased risk of uh, iris so what we generally do is start ATT first start ATT after two to four weeks after two to four weeks we have to initiate ART otherwise there will be an increased risk of iris in these patients so this is uh, something about iris and we, uh, as this is an immune response we have to give some glucocorticoids that is steroids to blunt the immune response. So thank you for watching the video.